Welcome to edition number 1575 of Sweden Calling DXers. And today's program was compiled with the help of 65 contributors. And this week we'll start off with some publications. First of all, Mickey Vassella has just published the third issue of External Services of African Stations. This is issued on a regular basis each March, May, September, and November as a free supplement for the subscribers to QTH Africa, which comes out every 10 days. External Services of African Stations is also available separately for two IRCs, and that's for airmail anywhere in the world. And if you're interested, you could write to QTH Africa, Post Office Box 28250, Pretoria, 0132 South Africa. You've also uh, asked Mickey about QTH Africa itself, because that's a very interesting guide to uh, changes in the African radio scene. We've received the first issue of the monthly reports of the Asian Broadcasting Institute. It's seven pages in length, and this issue is a comprehensive listing of schedules of various stations in China and Taiwan. A 12-month subscription costs 4,000 yen for overseas airmail, and they say that they want to be paid in yen, so you're going to have to go to your local bank and find out how much 4,000 yen comes out to in your local currency. If you're interested, you can write to the Asian Broadcasting Institute, CPO Box 1334, Tokyo 100-91 in Japan. Now it's time to go on to this week's DX tips. All times, as usually, are in uh, Greenwich Mean Time. And I thought we'd start off with something from China that was contained in this edition of the monthly reports of the Asian Broadcasting Institute. This particular item was contributed by Tetsuya Kondo. And he writes that the Central People's Broadcasting Station first and second programs began using commercials on January 1st. They're currently broadcast between 0350 and 0400, between 0520 and 0530, and 1035 up to 1040 hours in the first program. And in the second program, between 0205 and 0215, 1120 up to 1125, 1430 to 1440, and between 2200 and 2210 hours, so that you should tune into the uh, Central People's Broadcasting Station's first and second programs during those times if you want to hear Chinese commercials. A separate item from China, or rather Tibet, actually, this is from Roland Forster in West Germany, he tells us that Lhasa is carrying an English lesson between 2300 and 2400 hours on 4750 kHz. Continuing in Asia, there's an item from Afghanistan contributed by Chiaki Shibati in Japan. He says that Radio Afghanistan has been heard on an apparent new frequency, 3965 kilohertz, and that's up to sign off at 1930 hours. Once again, 3965 kilohertz. Indonesia, and Chiaki's also sent in the schedule for RRI Benkulu. And it's between 0930 and 1600 hours, between 0500 and 0715, and between 2300 and 0130 hours. The frequency is 3265 kilohertz. Meanwhile, A. Ishida, in the NDXC newsletter, which is a Japanese DX magazine, says that RRI Jayapura, which is on 6207 kilohertz, is announcing its frequency as 6250 kilohertz instead, although he has heard them on 6207 kilohertz, R.I. Jayapura. Moving now to Australia, Antonio Giral in Spain says that Radio Australia is using a new frequency for its broadcast in English to Europe between 1800 and 2200 hours. The new frequencies are 15200 and 21630 kilohertz and they replace 11800 kilohertz. John Santoro Jr. in New York, United States, says that Radio Australia has dropped 9670 kilohertz between 0630 and 1030 hours, and instead it's using 15145 kilohertz. And they've changed the time a little bit. Now they're starting at 0600 hours with that frequency, going up to 1030 hours. 
now some stations in Latin America. First of all, Brazil. The ITU has now answered Gerhard Bergen's question about why they list no medium wave stations in Brazil. Brazil has not notified the IFRB of any such stations. But then again, it's not required to, because provided such stations are of sufficiently low power so that they don't interfere with stations operating in other countries, there is no such requirement. Ecuador, Siegfried Held in West Germany, writes to correct the report in DX Bulletin 1573. He says that HCJB is broadcasting in English to Europe between 2130 and 2200 hours. We listed that as between 2030 and 2200 hours. The, the right time is between 2130 and 2200 hours. And the frequencies are 15405, 17885, and 21480 kilohertz. Guatemala. We reported in DX Bulletin 1548 that Adventist World Radio planned to begin operations on 6090 kilohertz. Well, now Siegfried Held writes in and says that those test transmissions have begun. So that's Adventist World Radio from Guatemala, and the frequency is 6090 kilohertz. Moving on now to Europe. First of all, Andorra. Radio Andorra has changed frequency for the multilingual broadcast from Adventist World Radio between 1800 and 2100 hours. The new frequency is 6220 kilohertz, and that's replacing 6215 kilohertz. This frequency is used as well for other programs from Andorra. For example, AWR's Sunday program in French, which is between 0800 and 0900 hours, and that includes the Echo DX program. And then there's the relay of the French domestic service, that's between 0900 and 1740 hours, followed by French religious programs between 1740 and 1755 hours. Our reporters from that were Robert van Onsum in Belgium and Roland Forster in West Germany. France, RFI broadcasts until April 5th as follows. In English, between 1700 and 1800 hours to North America, on 15.360 and 11.705 kilohertz. To other parts of Africa, on 17 17.795, 17.850, 17.860, 21.515, 21.580, and 21.620 kilohertz. So if you're in Africa, it is hard to miss Radio France International in English between 1700 and 1800 hours. They're a little bit of everywhere. Meanwhile, they do also have broadcasts in German, Spanish, and Portuguese. The German broadcast is between 1800 and 1900 hours. The frequency on that, there's a medium wave channel. It's 1278 kilohertz. And then there are two short wave channels, 6010 and 6145 kilohertz. There's also Spanish broadcasts between 2200 and 2300 hours. They're on medium wave 945 kilohertz. And in parallel, short wave 6040 kilohertz. And then the Portuguese, that's between 2130 and 2230 hours. They have three short wave channels, 6175, 7135, and 9605 kilohertz. And thanks to Alain Carlier in France for sending us that information. Portugal. Junji Kondo in Japan writes that Radio Portugal's program in English to Asia has been heard on a new frequency. That frequency is 21.475 kilohertz, and the time on that is between 1600 and 1630 hours. Radio Portugal in English to Asia, new frequency, 21.475 kilohertz. Romania, and this is from the BBC Monitoring Service, along with Russell Higgins in Wales, Radio Bucharest is now broadcasting in English to Europe as follows. Between 1300 and 1330 hours on 17850, 15250, and 11940 kilohertz. Between 1930 and 2030 hours on 11940 and 9690 kilohertz. Between 2100 and 2130 hours on 9690 and 7105 kilohertz. The broadcast to Europe in French between 2030 and 2100 hours is also heard on 9690 and 7195 kilohertz. 
Spain. A report in DX Bulletin 1573 about a program in German from Radio Exterior de España is wrong. During the period between 2000 and 2100 hours, REE is broadcasting on 15395 kilohertz in Spanish for Spaniards living in Europe. And included in this program is a course in the German language. Now this is for Spaniards to learn the German language and was produced in cooperation with West German broadcasting stations. It's not a program for a German-speaking audience. It's a program for Spaniards learning Spanish. And while Madrid would like to begin programs in the German language, they have economic barriers that hinder that development. And we'd like to thank Siegbert Gerhard, Klaus Hügen, and Siegfried Held, who are all in West Germany, for writing in and correcting that uh, misreport in the in 1573. No German from Radio Exterior de España except uh, a course in the German language for people who speak Spanish. Uh, Siegfried Held has also told us that the Spanish foreign radio English program to Europe, which is between 2010 and 2200 hours, it can now be heard on a new frequency of 9765 kilohertz. That replaces 9685 kilohertz. And with that, we come to the end of DX Bulletin 1575. If there is anything you missed, just drop us a line and we'll be happy to send you a copy of the program script. The address here is DX Editor, Radio Sweden, S10510, Stockholm, Sweden. And if it is a copy of this week's program you'd like a copy of, be sure to ask for DX Bulletin 1575. Anyway, I'll be back again next Tuesday with another version of Sweden Calling DXers. It ought to be edition number 1576. Until then, good listening and take care. tomorrow at the same time and on the same frequencies. That is 9,630 and 21,690 kilohertz, 31.2 and 13.8 meters. If you would like a list of our programs, times, and frequencies, please write to Radio Sweden, S10510, Stockholm, Sweden. Sveriges Radio Utlandsprogrammet. Radio Sweden, Stockholm. Radio Svetia, Stockholm. Radio Schweden, Stockholm. Radio Suède, Stockholm. Radio Suecia, Stockholm. Radio Suécia, Estocolmo. Sveriges Radio Utlandsprogrammet. Radio Sweden, Stockholm. Radio Schweizer, Stockholm. Radio Schweden, Stockholm.
Radio Suède, Stockholm. Lunch, Ekot. 